actually, an article in the New York Times states that because of bullying and judgment, it talks about how 14% of kids actually are considering suicide and 7% actually commit it. So that comes to about 4,400 kids who commit suicide every year. And that fact is actually a little bit old, so it could be a lot more now. And that's not with just high school students and college students, but it's also with younger kids too. And at Yale University, they actually did a study that said that kids from ages 10 to 14 are at a very, very high risk of suicide. So like, I just want to encourage you guys, like, if you guys have younger siblings, like, be a leader to them, guys. Like, they look up to you even though it doesn't seem like they do. They are looking at your every action. Sometimes by the way you act and by the way you treat people really impacts their life. So my next point is how do you fix it? And one way to do that is control what you think, guys, and try to look at the bigger picture. So for example, like if you find yourself thinking somebody, uh, like if that's not in a good way or judging somebody, think, okay, like is there something more going on in their life? Like what's going on that's causing them to do this? And really try to think of the bigger picture. And I'll give you an example. So say there was someone at school who is late to class, they don't really do their homework, and they just look really lazy, and they sleep in class. Like, Usually sometimes when you see somebody like that, it can be easy to think like, wow, like, they're lazy, like they're probably really dumb, and like you don't really think much of it. But what if you thought, okay, what if their mom at home gets seizures regularly, and they have to stay up for two, three hours a night watching their mom, and that means they don't get a lot of sleep, and they're not able to finish their homework. And this story is actually about one of my friends at school, and like she struggled a lot in school because of this situation. So this is just a situation that I want to remind you guys, like, okay, like, Maybe there's something more going on in their life that we don't know. And also, I would just encourage you to think of how would you want to be treated? So, so just think if you would want someone to act up to, talk to you in a loving way, or someone to be patient with you, do that for other people, guys. I know there's a lot of times when we probably treat people the way we don't want to be treated, so treat someone the way you would want to be treated. So my next point is accountability, and I would really encourage you guys just like, get a group of friends to keep each other accountable and encourage each other, like, hey, like, if you see a group of people, like, judging someone in a way or assuming something of someone that's not in a good way, just be like, hey, like, that's not cool, guys. Let's not do that. And think of ways you can encourage that person or even get to know them as a person instead of breaking them down. And this is where I would really encourage you to get an accountability partner. So if you think this is something, like, you're kind of struggling with and you feel like it just happens a lot, get someone to be there for you and just for be, be a reminder, like, okay, how – what is the love that God wants me to show that person? Like, how does he want me to be with that person? Like, what do I need to do? Like, how do I need to think? Like, train yourself to stop yourself. And also, this is another point, and it's not just with strangers, too. Like, I also want to encourage you, make sure that you really know your friends. And I know that kind of sounds silly, because you're probably like, oh, yeah, well, like, of course I know my friends. And I just want to encourage you with one of my stories with a friend who was my best friend in high school. I knew her for all four years. And like to me, like she was like the perfect girl. Like, she was always there for me. She was so strong. And she was just this amazing person. And it took her four years to finally tell me that she was scared because she felt like people in her life were only friends with her when they needed her. And then that they would drop her after they didn't need her anymore. And this actually happened to her a lot. And she was so scared to tell us because she thought she didn't know what we would say. And she thought that we would just leave her. And for a long time, I had no idea that was going on. And it was, I was shocked because I had known four years that that was a major thing that I did not know in her life. And then it made me realize like how that affected so many things in her life. And it just made sense after she told me that and reasons like what she did after that. So just to like close, like I just want to encourage you guys today, just remember to be leaders, guys. Like there's always people watching you and like what you're doing. So just make sure you are being an encouragement to other people and that you're living a life that is encouraging to other people and to others around you. And also, just make sure you get to know somebody before you judge them because there's so much that goes on with a person that we don't even know. So I would just encourage you not to just know them on a surface level, but really get to know them on a deeper level. And I kind of think of it like an, as an iceberg when you only see like the tip of it above the water, but then below the water there's so me, much that we don't see. So I really encourage you guys to get so much get to know somebody on that deeper level. And also, I just want to encourage you guys just to put yourself in their shoes. Like, just imagine, like, if you were the one, like, who people were talking about, like, how would that make you feel? Like, I just want to encourage you, like, put yourself in a situation, like, okay, like, I wouldn't want someone to do that to me.
me, so why would I do that to somebody else? And also, I would just want to encourage you with this quote by Miller Williams, and it says, have compassion for everyone you meet, even if they don't want.